Yes. All right, let's get into the story of the day. And it is. <laughs> this started out as, I guess, wishful thinking by Skip Bayless. And I'm not saying he's the only one that threw this out there. Um, but now it really seems like there is traction here. Could Tom Brady wind up, forget Tennessee, forget Indianapolis, forget the Chargers. The latest scuttlebutt is that Tom Brady could wind up with the San Francisco 49ers. Tom Curran, who is as plugged in on this story as anybody, has said this. How do you think this plays out? What's your prediction? Where's Tom Brady going to sign? Where is he going to play football next year? 50-50. I really, it's either going to be, to me, it's either going to be New England or Tennessee with the 49ers closing hard on the outside. So you think the 49ers conversation is real? I do. You think that's from Tom or do you think that's from San Francisco? I think it's from both. I think that there is an appeal. It's, what's interesting about that is the Patriots sent Jimmy Garoppolo out there for such short collateral. that Could Belichick say, hey, why don't you just sign this guy when he comes available for two years? I'll take Jimmy back. He'll get you the Super Bowl that you probably could have had this year if you had Brady. We'll start fresh. It would be interesting to me to find out whether or not that had happened. Wow. Wow. So, for, I don't mean to cut you off, Chris. I, I like this idea that a Boston writer is saying the Super Bowl you could have had. You weren't covering the 49ers all year. Like, like, And Tom Curran, like you said, is as plugged in as anybody on the Patriots beat. I'm not discrediting him at all. But to just loosely throw out there that if Tom Brady had been there instead of Jimmy Garoppolo, that a Super Bowl was guaranteed, that feels a little much to me. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Well... Do you think Brady makes that throw to Emmanuel Sanders? He missed a lot of throws this year, deep. He did, but do you think he makes that throw? Yes, you do. Probably, okay. yes. Then they win the Super Bowl. How and about- I'm with you on it. Was, see, I think Garoppolo is getting a bad rap. Garoppolo is a great, very good, I'm not going to say great, very good quarterback. And he's young and learning. I know he's, what, 28, 29. But in terms of actual experience, He's young, and he's very good, and his winning, people like like the 49ers, we saw him last year without Garoppolo. I know they didn't have Nick Bosa and some other guys, but still, to act like Jimmy Garoppolo hasn't been very good for the 49ers, I think is ridiculous. Well, how did they get Nick Bosa? It's because they were so bad without Jimmy Garoppolo that they ended up with the second overall pick. And so when I look at the things that plague the 49ers, one, I, they don't really have many weaknesses. They were probably the most complete team in the NFL this year. But I don't sit there and say that a, a quarterback upgrade is needed, right? Like you look at certain teams, the Chicago Bears, a quarterback upgrade is needed. And if that happens, that's potentially a Super Bowl caliber team. I don't feel that way with the 49ers. What I saw with the 49ers was a complete team. Jimmy Garoppolo won in New Orleans. Jimmy Garoppolo won in Seattle. There were a number of different uh, games where he was excellent, where he carried them. I know he didn't do a ton in the playoffs, but I look at that team and 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 like I they don't feel to me like they need a quarterback. If anything, to go back to the Super Bowl, let's never forget they gave up 21 unanswered right. points in the fourth quarter. No, I, I agree with you. And and for the record, Garoppolo is 21 and five as a starter. Now remember. He went to a 49ers team that was horrible. Yes. Horrible. And immediately wins five straight games. What were they? Were they one and nine, I believe? Check that out, Rob G. I think they were one and nine when he gets there. And then he wins five straight games. Yep. All right. With a team that wasn't good at all. So this notion that, oh, they won in spite of Jimmy Garoppolo is ridiculous. And here's the deal. If I'm New England, I'm doing this. If I'm Tom Brady, I'm welcoming this. Because I got George Kittle who can be my – they were 1-10. in 10. So I got George Kittle who could be my Rob Gronkowski. Debo Samuel, uh, Emmanuel Stewart – or Emmanuel Sanders, they got very good receivers, a great running game, a great defense. I mean, it. I, I, I'm with you. In that, if I'm San Francisco, I don't think I need an upgrade to win the Super Bowl. However, I'll take an upgrade. Okay, you know, and I'm not as much as I like. Here's the thing: if I'm San Francisco and I make this trade, 
I definitely feel like I've got a better chance of winning the Super Bowl next year than I do right now. Because here's the thing, Aaron. We are we as good as San Francisco is. This is the NFL. It is a league where we see teams go from worst to first. I mean, the Rams made the Super Bowl and didn't even make the playoffs the next year. So we saw Carolina do the same thing. It this is a win now league. And even though San Francisco is one of the most storied franchises in the NFL, they haven't won a Super Bowl since 1994. So if they can get that Super Bowl immediately, I think you take it. With with the quarterbacks coming out of college now, you know this, you cover college. I don't think it takes as long to find that that really good quarterback as it used to. Or I don't think it will take as long as it used to take because these guys are coming out so prepared. So I just the, – the, I don't – Disagree with anything you said, but my very simple question is this. If the 49ers get one stop in the fourth quarter and they win the Super Bowl, are we having this conversation? Of course not. So then, you know, to me, this is a complete overreaction. We actually, I feel like, see it a lot in the NBA. We got a bunch of games on here in the Fox Sports Radio studios where something goes wrong, you overreact, you got to make a move. Uh, and, and like, and, and sometimes, like, holding serve is fine. Now, I understand what you're saying. Every year is different. They play in the toughest division in the NFL. The Seattle's not going anywhere. The Rams aren't going anywhere. Kyler Murray and the the Arizona Cardinals are coming up. But I just think you make one play on defense, you win the Super Bowl, and nobody is having this conversation. This feels like – I don't – I don't discredit them for kicking the tires on this, but this feels like a complete overreaction when they were literally a play or two away from winning the Super Bowl. Well, I think – and, and the point I'm trying to make, as much as I think they would be better next year with Tom Brady, I'm with you in that if I'm San Francisco, I'm not doing this deal. Because I do have Garoppolo. He's young. He's my quarterback. Now, again, I, I threw it out. It, I wouldn't think it was the worst move in the world. Yeah. Because I think I got, I got basically two years of Tom Brady. It could be Denver and Peyton Manning. I mean, you got, what, four years, I think, out of Manning. The last one, he was horrible. He was good for three. But they got a Super Bowl, and I guess you could look at Denver and say, yeah, now look at them, and they can't get a quarterback. But they it can't was find a quarterback. Them, yeah. But it was worth it. But you're you make a you're right. And, and if I'm New England, I do it. If I'm Brady, I love it. He's from that area. Yeah. But if I'm San Francisco, I'm tempted but I would hold off and not do it. See, and that's my thing. And so, you know, you're looking at me right now. I got this new ring on my finger. Just because me and my wife get in a fight. Interesting does, ring, too. You uh, it's a little, it's, the it's, it's the, it's the little cheap one. This is a separate conversation. <laughs> for, I wear it uh, in case I take it off, you know, when I'm washing my hands or something. But the only point I was going to make was when me and my wife get in a fight, we don't run to the divorce lawyer. You work Good. through it, and one issue does not make a whatever, does not make a divorce, and I just don't think that one bad quarter of a 20-game, 19-game season means that you got to completely blow it up and start. Has your wife ever had a nine-minute stretch as bad as Jimmy Garoppolo, though? <laughs> she's had some, <laughs> some some bad moments. Yeah, you know. I mean, you I hope she's not listening. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we're like the odd couple at home, but I'm I'm more the Chris Broussard in that I win all the arguments. And you know, <laughs> there I'm you kidding. Go. No, she wouldn't no, like you hearing that. Say, You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right, your turn to weigh in eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox eight seven seven nine nine six sixty three sixty nine. Let me say this first though, Uh-oh. and I agree with you. We're both on the same page in that if I'm San Francisco, I wouldn't do it. However. And I said the same thing about the Cowboys. I would love to see it as a as a fan. Oh yeah, he, I, Brady in Dallas or San Francisco. The storyline. Oh my gosh. Or the Raiders. The Raiders would be oh, fun. Uh, too. Raiders don't. Uh, I mean, him going anywhere new is going to be a big story. True. Raiders wouldn't turn me on just because I don't think they're that good. Yeah. But he goes to uh, Dallas, San Francisco. Even if he goes to Tennessee, mm. it's not as sexy, but. Tampa Bay, Tennessee, Indianapolis. Those teams are ready. I don't know about Tampa. Maybe. Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess if you take away the 30 interceptions yeah. Jameis Winston threw, maybe they're a different team. <laughs> All right, your turn to weigh in. Would the 49ers be making a mistake by swapping Jimmy Garoppolo for Tom Brady? Let's start with Adam in California. Adam, you're on with Chris and Rob. Or Chris oh, and Aaron, my hey, bad. Man. Good 
just wanted to say hello. Thanks for taking my call. I just think Brady can't move, even if he went to Frisco or Kansas City, the way he needs to with those teams. He he don't got the moves like that. He's good, but he's a pocket quarterback, straight up. Well, no, he definitely at this. I mean, he never was great as far as mobility. He's a quick release, obviously. Um, I think he's got another good year left, but I'm with you. I wouldn't do it if I'm the Niners, although I'd be a little tempted because, I look, I'm going to say this, and I want your, Aaron, sure. what do you think? Adam, you can weigh in too. If if they were to make this trade, who would you pick in the NFC to get to the Super Bowl? I would pick the Niners. Ooh. You know, the thing is, though, the 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 line is so thin, and, you know, I, I get it. But, I mean, Seattle wasn't that far off. The Packers are interesting. I'm trying to think of who else is in the NFC. Who else am I missing? The Ra- Listen, the Rams will rebound. They'll be better than they were last year. The Bears, the, the Bears, Vikings, Vikings, the Saints. Yeah, there's I a mean, little- it's, don't get me wrong. It's tough. But if they got Brady, oh, I'm picking them. Counterpoint, Not though. to win it. I don't think I'd pick them to beat Kansas City. Although, I, I don't even know if I'm going to pick Kansas City because it's hard to repeat. Yeah. The but ca- I, I, I don't know they'd be the best team in the league, but I, I'd pick them in the NFC. The counterpoint is, though, what happens to Brady when he doesn't have, in theory, four wins against the uh, Jets and Dolphins built in the schedule? He couldn't even beat the Dolphins yeah, last year. Yeah, but Luke look 17. at the weapons he's got. Running backs, tight end, receivers, defense. Let's go to Dave in Indiana. Dave, you're on with Chris and Aaron. Hello. What's up, man? Hey, not much. First time caller. Oh, thank you, man. Picked a good Call day. Again. Rob's not here. And I'm here. <laughs> That's and it's interesting. Day. Rob's not here. We got first time callers. All right. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, Rob's got issues. <laughs> <laughs> You've been checking out his uh, social media, right? Hey, I don't know what's going on with that. He's we, got issues, and they're all 65 plus. About, yeah. Right, right. Get... <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. What's your point? I would take Brady. I'm a diehard Niner fan. Really? Yeah. Really? So yeah, you would give the up the future. With the white clock in the back of the end zone. Wow. I get the temptation, but look, you got two years with Brady Max. You would do it. Yeah, the, draft a quarterback and let him sit under Brady for two years. I hear you in that. I do this think. The but then, don't you agree? Well, they, I don't know if you're getting that quarterback in this draft. But then all of a sudden, possibly, all you're doing is building for the future when you have a team that's ready to win the Super Bowl now. Yeah, though. but Brady, Get another Brady's weapon that guy that's going to help you win it now, and then maybe you groom the next guy. It's it's Mark in Sacramento. Where you at on this, Mark? Mark, Hello, Mark. All right, let's go to Marty in Kentucky. Marty, what's happening, brother? What's up, Chris? Aaron, happy Worship Wednesday. Yes, happy Worship Wednesday to you, brother. I do not think that it would be a bad idea for either team. I think that Garoppolo can, can be the future for New England, and I think the San Francisco deal for Brady would be great. He gets to go home. Mm. He gets to go to a team and contend. He want, they both well, – Okay, both I can. agree with you. I like it for Brady – and the Patriots, will you like it for the Niners, though? Yeah, they both get a chance to prove what they want to prove. And here's the thing with the Niners. In the last 25 years, the 2018-2019 Patriots are the only team to lose a Super Bowl and come back and get to the Super Bowl again. Usually when you lose the Super Bowl these days, you right. have the Super Bowl hangover, you don't get back. This breathes new life into the team. And another thing they have, they, they, they're in the Bay Area. And when, when Brown was leaving Pittsburgh, A.B. said he wanted to go to the Niners. He wanted to go to the Bay Area. Him and Brady are friends. If he could if he could get out of Toontown for a little while and straighten up and they could say, Brady, we're going to get A.B. if you come, man, that's attractive. Oh, that's because even – oh, my do God. You, do you want to – I like Mar- – Marty made some good points, though, because he's right, like – Look, they're going to be good. I think they're going to be good next year, even with Garoppolo. But if you bring in Brady, I don't think there's any Super Bowl hangover whatsoever because for Brady it's new. The guys are excited to play with him. But then the counterpoint is everybody has to get used to everybody else. Where Jimmy G has been. Used to Brady? They'll get used to him. Yeah, I guess. They got used to Jimmy G quick. I'm just I guess my point is is that one I don't like drafting a quarterback this year. If you're all in on Brady, you're all in on Brady. Push the chips in the middle, get him every piece necessary. I like it from the Patriots perspective. I I I'd, I'd be happy with Jimmy G going forward. I just think with the 49ers, yeah. it's title or bust literally 
for the next year, maybe But that's two. how it is in the NFL nowadays. You I know, understand. it's what have you done for but me lately. But the counterpoint. You, you cover college football. Do you agree with my point that it's going to be going forward, it looks like it's going to be easier to find that kind of franchise guy because these quarterbacks, I mean, they're, they're, they seem to be improving because they at such a young age – they're doing the seven on sevens yeah. and they're audibling and you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think that's totally fair. And I think honestly, to be perfectly honest, I think they're kind of dumbing down NFL offenses so it's that guys more can, like yeah, college. so they can adjust faster. I mean, give Cliff Kingsbury a ton of credit. He comes in, he knows Kyler Murray's his guy, and he's like, let's run what you want to run. Um, so I, I get that point. I just feel like, man, like you I get that it's a year to year thing. But you're blowing this thing up, and you're you're not blowing it up because you're only changing one piece. But that's a big piece to change. And then the counterpoint would be Jimmy G's in his late 20s, early 30s. And I was thinking, we talked about this before the show, Russell Wilson, the Seahawks have been able to rebuild two, three times around that guy. If you get the right quarterback. But he's bad. He, Jimmy G's not Russell Wilson. I get that. But it's just it just feels crazy to me. You're conservative. That, I get it. No. I, you're you're Listen, naturally conservative. That's cool. I get it. Wow. It's <laughs> that's like that, what huh? it is. What's happening, y'all? It's Chris Broussard. I'm Rob Parker. And we are The, the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple. Check us out as often as you can. And on YouTube. And always remember, I'm Oscar and he's Felix. Oh man, are you serious? <laughs>